Hey, awesome stuff. Man, you're quick to the punch. How you doing, brother? Or sister. I don't know if you're a boy or girl. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. Let's see if we can fix this a little bit here. Hey, DDMC. Oh, a couple people saying they're first. Actually, there was someone before all you guys. That's the funny part. Second, third. <laughs> At the very least, um, you guys are all on. Hey, what's up, guys? Madison, Rob, Saka Plata, Kimberly Cortinas, Zach Kelling, Ant, 2242. Hello, hello. Scott Holiday. How you doing, brother? Good to see you on. Welcome, welcome. Hey, thank you for the uh, thumbs up. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there and uh, happy everything day to everyone else. So we will get started here in about five minutes. Tyler, Ivan. All right. My wife is doing the, all the admin work uh, to ensure that we have a fair giveaway system here that you guys uh, are gonna love. So in a few more minutes, we'll get started. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Happy Father's Days. Happy Mommy's Days, too. A lot of great support, huh? Mm-hmm. My, if if, uh, my apologies if I don't name everybody off. There's so many of you. <laughs> Terry says, hi, wife. Hi, everyone. She's gonna be off of uh, off of camera. Give me one second. Hey, Josh. He's turning on some lights. Yeah, I'm funny about my lighting. And unfortunately, we have this yellow uh, dining room, which yeah, that, that's, we that's don't gonna like. change. That is gonna change. Hello, everyone. Oh, Max says I miss you. I miss you too, man. Oh, in case you guys are wondering, a lot of folks spell my name S-E-A-N-S-H-A-W-N. -S -S uh, it's S-H-A-U-N, but I'll take it all. <laughs> they, they all sound the same, and I, I'm glad that you guys know who I am by now. Hi, Robert. How are you? Hey, Cindy. Thank you. We have a good one on tap to uh, begin the summer season of giving back. Um, so I can't wait to get started. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Well, metal detecting in Alaska, how is it? Has it thawed out yet so where you could get through the crust? I'm sure there's a lot of uh, some of that Klondike gold you can find up there. Sounds good. Someone, MB said, I want that coin. <laughs> you want that coin? This one right here? Well, Silver Eagle action. Well, I, I can't wait to give it away to some lucky son of a gun. So I want to thank everyone for joining in. So we'll give it a few more minutes. Do you want to tell them where you got all of the giveaways from? Yeah, you know, I'm going to wait for more, for more folks to come up. So um, happy Poopies Day. Maybe I did. You're going to have to rewind the video, but you're going to have to fast forward it back to current. <laughs> no, no need to say you're going to save me on shipping, huh? Why, thank you. That was the most selfless thing anybody's ever done for me recently. Happy Father's Day to everyone, by the way. Thank you. Thank you guys for, uh, for uh, joining in on what could be an afternoon in which all you guys could be hanging out with family and, um, you know, all that great stuff. So... Ooh, 158. Let's see if we can hit the good old 200. 200. Are you guys hearing me okay? As far as the uh, the microphone, the feedback, I want to make sure that I'm um, good to go for you guys. Yes, that's my arm in the picture. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you. Oh, Deanna, Deanna, thank you. Uh, you're my first ever. <laughs> donation through the super chat uh quick shout out to you thank you 
Um, it's not necessary, but uh, I'll take it. And I want to thank everyone that does shoot a dollar or two my way. Uh, you know, it just means I get to do more awesome giveaways uh, beyond the summertime. I'm actually looking forward to fall. I think I'm going to extend it out, but we're going to kick it off in a big way as a way of giving back to everyone. Loud and clear in Michigan. Ooh. Cindy, glad you found Sean. He's amazing. He's awesome. It's like college online. Yeah. Well, they, there's a number of us on, on here that, uh, you know, all of your various professors. You know, you have me, Couch Collectibles. You got uh, JB Coins, who's been blowing up uh, recently. So, uh, you know, I, um, I, I know um, his... Um, his wife, I guess. Yeah, his wife um, wasn't feeling too well. So I, I hope I wish a uh, speedy recovery. Kimberly Beam, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And a uh, great big shout out to you. AZ Coins, Ken Turner, Andrew Griffin. That's awesome. Very, very cool. So it's 2.02 in the afternoon. I figured we go ahead and get started. And um, you can send qu questions and my wife will kind of help me out uh, on a few things. What I wanted to do is uh, take some time to discuss where a lot of the coins came from. Uh, uh, in addition, uh, Lucy Costantino, thank you. Thank you for your super chat uh, donation. That's gonna go into the prize pool uh, for more giveaways. That's awesome, thank you, appreciate it. Uh, happy Father's Day to everyone, by the way. Uh, so most of the coins, I, I put a few of them myself. I purchased the rest of them, uh, through a dealer here in the Sacramento area by the name of Rockland, uh, coin shop, Rockland coin shop. Um, I, I want to thank you guys again for, um, you know, catching, giving me a little break on the, uh, the swag items, the giveaway for the subscribers and patrons. Um, Terry Smith Sr., thank you, thank you for the um, for the gift on the 72 double to die. Uh, if you want to, go ahead and shoot me your email at blueridgesilverhound at gmail, and um, uh, we'll talk. We'll exchange information, and you can send that to me, and you know, take a look at what we have there. Alberto Padilla, thank you, sir, for the donation. That's going to go into the prize pool for. Um, for more giveaways, Deep South Coin Scout. Thank you for the $2 donation. Much appreciated. Um, Spokane, Washington in the house. Thank you. So thank you for everyone that did the super chat. Everything's going to go into a prize pool. So that way we could give away more stuff um, after the summer. Okay, we, we have a whole thing on tap for giveaways. But again, huge shout out to Rockland Coin Shop. Uh, here in the Sacramento area for helping a brother out with these items. Um, I want to take a little bit of time to discuss the um, how everything's going to work out. So a lot of it is going to be um, comment post driven. So like let's say the first one that does this and posts it in the, um, the comment section at the bottom will win that item. Okay, now everybody has, there's a few people that have uh, had a concern about the competitive balance uh, of, of the thing. And the cool thing what I did is kind of integrated a, uh, a trivia um, kind of setup on this. So I'm, you know, for example, I'm gonna showcase one coin that I'm gonna be giving away and I'm gonna give you a trivia question. You just have to post the answer um, at the bottom. And before I um, show you the coin that I'll be giving away, you know, I'll tell you what you have to do for that one. Um, so that way everybody knows it's going to be even with everyone. So, um, Angel, Dennis, James, Scott, I Found a Penny, Grim Reaper, Crystal Ward, Guillermo Castro, John Larson, Loretta Bind Binder or Binder, Ronald De Sombre. Shout out to you guys. Uh, Mr. Ken Turner, thank you for the super chat donation. That's going to go into the prize pool for more giveaways. That's going to happen after the summer. So we're going to keep that, keep it going for you guys. Uh, Richie Jones, thank you. Happy Father's Day. Um, thank you for the $2 donation. Uh, that's going to go into the prize pool as well. Very cool, very cool. So how about we get started real quick? 
Um, hey, everybody says Happy Father's Day. Maybe I ought to change this up a little bit. You should. Um, well, I tell you what. So I, for the first giveaway, I have two. There's going to be two winners in this one, by the way. I have two 1986 clad commemoratives. We have a proof, and then we have a business strike one right here. So 1986 clad, there's two winners in this one. The first two people to uh, comment in, happy 2019 wins these two coin or wins one coin, and then the second person wins the other one. So the first one will be the proof. Uh, Mr. Oh, Grab. Mr. Grab. And it looks like, what, Angel Garcia? That's funny. Yeah, Mr. Grab and Rob, Rob M. Congratulations to the two of you. The way it's gonna work out, okay, I announce the winners. Okay, you two gentlemen or ladies, uh, <laughs> shoot me an email, uh, blueridgesilverhound at gmail.com. Like, give me your information for the shipping of your items. So Mr. Grab will receive the proof uh, 1986 Liberty commemorative and the business strike goes to Rob, Rob M. M. Congratulations to the both of you. Now those are pretty easy. Okay. So we started like on a, uh, the lower value, but you see how it works. You know, it's the first couple people that post on there. Uh, but with the other giveaways, we're going to do a little bit of trivia. Okay. It's all going to be like attainable, like go on Google, you know, so I'm gonna tell you guys to get set up with your Google um, in, in case you need it or Red Book. Um, you know, it's either gonna be like American history or coin fact type stuff. Uh, so, well, I figure we'll go ahead and um, get started. Now, just to recap, some of you are gonna be posting uh, questions and stuff regarding coins. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is do a follow up um, live stream uh, probably later on in the week um, let me know you know what a good time is for you guys is it gonna be like if I did it on a Wednesday is in the evening time suitable for a lot of folks oh Cajun coin hunter man update your internet bro <laughs> Layla lady how you doing and 2242 Kim Dobbs can a person win multiple times Yes, people can win multiple times, okay? It's been done before. I did a giveaway during the, I think, Christmas time, and the same person won, I think, twice. So, yes, yeah, it's very possible. Uh, but again, for competitive balance sake, okay, the rest of the giveaways is going to be kind of like trivia-based. It's all pre pretty easy. It depends on who's quicker at typing, you know, like on Google to find out, um, you know, it looks like you're a lot of people with a lot of lag going on. A lot of people having uh, issues with uh, the, the lag. Huh. Signal's good on my end. That's crazy. John Larson. Oh, John Larson. Yeah. Here, let me uh, let's uh, let's take a look at that. There might be a technicality. Let's see here. I pass it oh yeah mr. grab mr. grab said happy 2109 so unfortunately I may have to take you off of that one bub so the, the next the next person in line for that one is happy 2019 it's just all, all of the responses were coming down quick on there So I found a penny, won the second, the business strike, um, Liberty commemorative. 
Okay, well, uh, before I do the next giveaway, I'm going to give it a few minutes to see if the lag kind of like settles down uh, for a lot of you. That's important. Yeah, because even even on my laptop, there's there's a little micro lag, probably maybe one or two seconds. So you guys aren't the only one. I have I have my photographic device, and I also have my laptop that my wife's on. She's helping manage the order of the um, the comments as they come up. So we'll we'll give it a, uh, you know like two more minutes, and it'll, let me know if it's uh, kind of easing up on you guys. And my apologies on the first giveaway part. I, I, the comments again went by so quick. So um, we went back and sure enough, it said happy 2109. So um, I'm so sorry. Who is it? Mr. Grab. Mr. Grab. He said no lag here, just too fast with his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. All right, Mr. Grab, let's see if we can hook you up with something else here. Yeah, by the way, these uh, these commemorative coins, they're worth about five bucks a piece. Um, they're clad, co copper nickel. So that's the lower end of the spectrum, but it helps kind of like break the ice for you guys and uh, get started. Hey guys, we'll also go back over because I know a few of you are saying in here, well, I it looks like I was first or second or um, we will actually go back over and um, kind of go through comments and, and verify. So it may look like that on your end, but we're going by what we're seeing on our end. So yeah, we're doing it by the order in which it goes. But in order on, on by there. which the comments are coming through. So. Hey Jack, 96 gold standing Liberty. Is that one of the commemoratives? I got my red book here, so. I would say you got a screaming deal. Uh, the commemoratives market is kind of soft right now. So um, if you're able to get a really good deal on them, is it the National Community Service? This one right here, that one right there. It's like Standing Liberty, that one's pretty actually. I have a few favorites. I, I picked up one of these right here. The Smithsonian, that's the one where Lady Liberty's sitting on Earth. It's kind of cool. How's everyone's lag doing? I know there's a few of you with some lag, so I wanted to make sure. Well, um... MK Ultra Works Bear, uh, so he brought up he brought up a, a point. So I, I'm trying to do some competitive balance on the giveaway. Okay, I, I mean I could say, oh yeah, the first one to type in, you, you know, uh, first in the comment for a specific giveaway, that would be unfair. But because because there's been a lot of kind of like, it, you know, um, kind of blowback because of that, um, is the reason why I did the trivia. So, um, which I felt like was about a lot better. It gives everyone more better opportunity to, to find out some of this. Now, based on, you know, some of the questions that I'm going to talk about regarding the trivia for the, for each individual giveaway, um, you know, you may know the answer right away. So, you, you know, you'll have a leg up, but I wanted to give this a try. Keep in mind, this is the kickoff for the giveaway for the summer um we have done randomizing we've done it a bunch of ways so. yeah we've done randomizing so um this is just the kickoff all the other subsequent giveaways uh are going to be like five day giveaways so where you'll place a comment and then and then we'll do the uh what the common randomizer uh, yeah it, uh, the randomizing the common comment uh randomizer tool um to do that so we get it, Aaron. I know. Yeah. Some of us are a little bit older and have slower fingers. I get it. Yeah. But I tell you what, there, there's eight items altogether. I, I gave away two, the cheaper ones. The one big giveaway item um, for this giveaway will be something that will go over for five days. So I'll, I'll present it. I'll tell you how you can win it. 
And then all you have to do is put in your comment, um, which I'll tell you what that is when we get there. So that way, that, that seems like more fair. I was gonna do a trivia on that one, but I'll do a randomizer uh, by using the, the common comment randomizing tool. Um, and that'll be in five days. So that's a great idea for the big, big giveaway of this group. So let's go ahead and get started with the next item. And what I have here is a, with the government holder uh, and packaging, a 1967 SMS set, okay? That right there. Uh, the, the Lincoln set actually is a cameo. That's a great cameo. All right, so for this one, uh, the first person to type in the answer wins. Who's the third president of the United States? The third one. That's all I need to know. First one to type in the answer, third president of the U.S. Andrew L., congratulations, brother. You won this. There you go. So my wife is verifying all of the, um, the posts. Abraham Adams, Thomas J. See, yeah, I, I provide some pretty easy trivia, you know. Uh, um, you know, most of the time you won't even need to go on Google or do anything. So, we got that one out of the way. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and go on to the next one. Someone wants to know if you can say this word. Oh, Mark. Hey. <laughs> Monticello or Monticello? Is either, either of them right? Because I've said it both ways in every single conceivable um, Thomas Jefferson nickel video. And someone always says I'm wrong. So <laughs> I'll say it both every time I bring it up. Oh, geez. Colleen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Hey, Dan. Hey, Stephen Hicks and John Larson, I noticed your answers are just now coming up. Are you guys experiencing lag right now? Monticello, when you want to sound fancy. The cello? Yeah, like the musical instrument? Lynn RN, shout out to you. Are you working today? Because I know how RNs work around the clock. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry about the lag. I, I don't know how the heck that's happening, but. We're all watching you. Lynn's watching you. She's not working today. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you, Lynn. Yeah. Should we do something different for this next one? Whatever you want. All right. Trying to do something different. I tell you what. So for the next giveaway item, okay, um, I'm going to ask you a question, and my wife will pick out the best answer that she likes. Hey. <laughs> Which will make it, you know, there's no cherry picking or anything like that. But Put it on me. Yeah. Well, one on you. So, so that way, you know, uh, for the folks that have the lag. All right, so for the next one, we have a silver commemorative, okay? United States USO commemorative coin, dollar coin. So on this one, this is a proof. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's the giveaway item for this particular question. All right, and then the question is, choose your favorite vacation spot. So I'm gonna allow everyone to post up their vacation locations or, you know, a place they like to visit. And then whichever one my wife likes the best, this will go to that person. Oh my goodness. So we'll give you guys a few minutes to go ahead and throw in some answers in there. 
And my wife does not play favorites, by the way. She is the most... I doubt. Yeah, she, she's very cut and dry, and um, she takes no... <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. I'm going back through your um, answers here. She's going back through all the answers. So uh, give her a moment. We live in California, by the way. So <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, California. We live we're trying right to right get right. out of California. Yeah, we're trying to get out of California. We're, we're on the five-year plan or? Yeah, five. Maybe it might, might even be sooner than that. Once we get our. Uh... <laughs> once we, yeah, once we pay all our stuff off. No, once we get our kid out of the house. Oh, once we get our kid out of the house. Oh, babe, you, you, have, you have a huge undertaking ahead of you. Ooh, that one's interesting. Right there. But that, I can't, I can't sway your decision. Nope, sorry. <laughs> All right, we still got some stuff coming in. So we'll give it another, another minute on this one. <laughs> And that, by the way, is for the USO commemorative dollar coin, which has a market value of $30. Okay, I think I found someone, not someone, someplace. She found someplace. Ooh, okay. What do we got here? So, um, let me just thank him. Okay. <laughs> one more money. I want to make sure I'm fair and go through everybody's answers. Wait, Potter County? Um, I saw that Pennsylvania, one. that's awfully specific. Who, who wrote that down? That was cool. Jonathan, let me guess. Do you live in Potter County? <laughs> Potter County, Pennsylvania? I even saw what God's Country when I was at Wisconsin or something. I love your guys' spirit. This is awesome. Yeah, Jonathan said Potter County, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Potter County. Um, so. All right. I think she. I think she has picked something. I'm, almost, I'm like, wait. Yeah, there's minute. always like good stuff coming up. Some really interesting. Um, hey, Daniel from Milwaukee. Where did it go? <laughs> I am scrolling through all of your answers right now. <sighs> I'm, hang on. <laughs> Put it on me. Then I the, this is more longer. fun uh, because everybody gets to um, KO Bob, Blue Ridge Parkway. That's my favorite place. That's like a top 10 right there. Uh, what was it? Uh, Skyline Drive. Yeah. A lot of fun. Is it still the same though? We haven't been in years. Wow, there's a lot of them. Mm, I know. Anywhere but Barstow. Oh, Vern, you got that right, brother. That is the most miserable place. Most miserable. If anyone says Barstow. Mm -mm. <laughs> her, her head's going to explode now. Thanks, Thank babe, for putting this on me. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to come up with an innovative way where everyone has, like, you know, an even shot. Lag aside. Still coming in. Look at all these. There's a lot of lag, from what I could see. I'm sure. I'm sure you guys. Uh, yeah, I know the chat has never smoked hotter. <laughs> like, if I need to uh, fire up the old barbecue, I'm just gonna go on a live stream real quick, so that way I can get this uh, grease fire rolling. What Chernobyl? What kind of answer is that? Oh man, That's that place cool is radioactive. <laughs> Someone's, uh, Linda Bell, you will have to take your wife on vacation to one of the spots she picks. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Stacy Maxwell, Roanoke. Oh, that's awesome. I haven't been out there in a while. <laughs> a lot of good stuff. A lot of places you've never been to. No. Diamond Creator in Arkansas? Wow. 
Jeez. Ooh. Really, really creative. I think we are gonna go with Christopher Gaddis, the Smoky Mountains Jacuzzi on the balcony campfire and no kids. There you go. There you go. Hey, you you hit her hot button. <laughs> She's, she's all about, um, what is it? Like unique quality, like time with, yes. with her hubby, hubster. So, uh, are we, is that that's, your final that's answer? That's my final answer. Okay. So we're going with, um, Christopher Gaddis. Congratulations, sir. You have been picked Smoky Mountains Jacuzzi on the balcony campfire and no kids. <laughs> oh my God. I love my children, don't get me wrong, but, you know, <laughs> there's a time and a place. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it, man. Christopher Gaddis, sir, if you can, uh, shoot us an email, blueridgesilverhound at gmail.com, and let's uh, let's go ahead and get your information so we can get this uh, beautiful oh, USO commemorative coin to you, sir. Bumper said, did you know there was no fatalities from the actual Chernobyl meltdown? I didn't know that. I did not know that either. That's interesting. Very cool. That, that And they say, you know, Hey, they Shannon don't Bowman. We have friends in Kentucky, too. They live in Carlisle. Yeah, they live in Carlisle. I'm just copying what you're saying right now. You're funny. Yeah. All right. So are you guys ready for the next one? Are you guys, are you guys, have you guys had enough? Um, there were two fatalities. Oh. Uh oh. Have you guys had enough of giveaways? Ben, Ben's like, yes, I've had enough giveaways. No more. It's too much. <laughs> Some, Richie Jones says, you should include the misses in more videos. You two have a good banter. Hey, thanks. Although I have a full-time job, so. She has a full-time job and me, I just, I play with money. <laughs> and that's the extent of it. Someone wants more, more swag. Don't stop. Get more. Tickets. Okay. Well, let's see how we're going to do this one because I, I kind of like the, you know, like millions of answers and like pick one. All right. So I think for the next one, it's going to appeal to the mister. All right. Uh, to me. So for this one, um, we have a original GSA packaged. 1973 deep cameo silver Eisenhower dollar. It's the lowest mintage one. These are tough to find. And this one has a value of $35. So that's this one. Huh. For this one, hmm. <laughs> Chris, you're Chris Freeman, you're pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to think of a good uh, good question for me on this one. Um, I don't know, babe. A any ideas? Something with a lot of answers. Hmm. <laughs> no, I can't think of anything. It's yeah. your question. You have it's my question? Questions. Okay, well, I'm just going to shoot from the hip. Uh, so... I'm a call. I'm what? Someone says pick a number. That's funny you bring that up. We're going to do that one for one of the giveaways, you know, as we go along. The pick a number deal because there's like almost 300 of you. So. Your favorite car, your favorite food, favorite coin. All right. There you go. Okay. So I'm kind of a car guy, car slash truck guy. Do not, do not answer big rig because that's not going to win. <laughs> so in this particular instance, uh, between a car or a truck, it could be a classic or a modern. Um, I have one car in mind, uh, and you can, even, for <laughs> for a little extra appeal, you can actually put the actual date, make a model of the car. Uh, my favorite car. Favorite car. All right, you're gonna have to go through them. <clears throat> oh man. Oh my Whoa. gosh. Oh man. This is crazy. So go on. Ooh, that one's close. That one's close. Someone is already close. Oh man. That is nuts. 
Yeah, they look at it. They, they're all rolling in. Look at this. Mm -hmm. now, now, now I'm going through it. The pain's taking. Turn the computer oh for you. Oh my god. So many good ones too. A lot, of, a lot of like bucket list, like midlife crisis type cars, which I am firmly in right now. <laughs> totally midlife crisis, crisis -ing it. That's at the very bottom, huh? I don't see it yet. You guys keep rolling it on. We've had a number 55, try five Chevys in there. I appreciate it because that's, that's one of my top five, but it's not the type one. Oh my God, someone is so close. So ridiculously close. Which one? Oh my God, did you actually, did someone just put Chevette? That is not my favorite car. <laughs> that is funny though. That's a classic. Oh man, that one's awesome. A lot of awesome cars in here. Someone said didn't hear the question. All right, favorite car, classic or new? Sean's so uh, the year and uh, model. Would, would suffice on this one. Oh man, that one right there is oh so close. It's hmm. one, year, one year off. Ooh. One year off on that one. Ooh. There's a lot of good ones. Holy smokes. Oh, that one, look at that one. 69 Camaro, that's sick. All right, we'll give it another minute. A minute to win it. <laughs> like, I would take one of every, every single car in here, except for the Lexus GS460. <laughs> Sorry, Lynn. <laughs> 2014. Oh, that's a good one there, too. But I have to remain objective. There's a specific... Oh. I think we have a winner. I found it. All right, so Graham Wolford with the 67 Chevelle. That is my favorite car. My favorite car. And it doesn't even need to be an SS with a 396. They, there is um, there's a Chevelle 300. It doesn't have the, like the buttress kind of like rear window treatment on there. It's just, it's flat with the windows. 67 Chevelle, brother. Congratulations. Graham Wolfert. Someone had said 66 Chevelle. That's my second favorite. So, Graham. Congratulations. Graham, if you're hearing this, buddy, shoot me an email. Blue Ridge Silverhound at gmail.com. Go ahead and give me your information. And, um, oh, by the way, in the title of the email, just put in the item that I'm giving away um, along with your name. And that, that, that way I'll know who it is. Very cool. 67 Chevelle, yeah. It's one of those cars that, you know, they, they kind of, they're popular among the Chevelle and Chevrolet Chevy people. But I saw 67 Mustang, which is a top five for me. That's like number three. 66 Chevelle. Um, uh, another one that's not on there, that's a top five, that, that's actually number four, is a uh, 63 Galaxy um, Fastback. Those cars are amazing. So Graham said, sweet, thanks brother, coin on. Coin on, absolutely Graham, appreciate it sir. Thank you for everyone for um, getting in on this giveaway. So what's next here? Uh, oh, okay, so everybody saw this in the thumbnail. We got the 1986. Silver Eagle, as you guys know, this is the first year of the Silver Eagle. This one's a BU gem coin right here. All right, so this one is going to be a husband-wife. We'll deliberate and pick out the best answer. Um, what do you guys like about coin collecting? Go ahead and comment below, and then we'll go ahead and pick out the best answer. So... It, the question for the giveaway on the Silver Eagle, the 86, is what do you like about coin collecting? Grim Reaper, it kills time. <laughs> it kills time. What are you killing time for, man? Enjoy it. <laughs> and by the way, you can answer multiple times. No Fords. 
I, there's there's dodges I like too. Some Mopar, Mopar or no car. Slurping, gross. Yeah, I'm slurping my soda. <laughs> and she's like, ugh, why do you do that? Ugh. So uncouth. <laughs> and while you guys are typing in, typing in your answers, okay, the, we're having fun here. If you guys enjoy this, make sure you subscribe and um, hit the bell for instant notifications. Um, the subsequent giveaways throughout the summer won't necessarily be in a live stream. They'll come up, like, say, at the beginning of a video or at the end of the video. And what I'll probably end up doing is for that week, we'll just do like post your comment in those particular giveaways and then I'll run it five days and then do the common comment uh, randomizer um, on a live stream. So, uh, how's the toning? That sounds like my thing. <laughs> the hunt with Mia Sposa. Rob Dilcox, there, there's not enough of you out there, buddy. A lot of, lot of great reasons. Even the, even the it kills time uh, one is pretty cool. So just to recap, uh, for the 1986 Silver Eagle right there, what do you like about coin collecting? Go ahead and comment below, ladies and gents. Or is it 92% men and 8% women? <laughs> or it's actually higher than that. I think it's like 70-30, to be honest with you. Hey, King's Coins, did you, uh, did you put that up on a video? I was actually watching JB's Coins' um, uh, reveal on all of his PCGS submissions, and he, he got some pretty good ones. He got a whole mess of them back. What was it, about 40 of them? Thrill the hunt. <laughs> so we'll, we'll give it about another minute. Well, my wife and I is conferring on some good ones here. There's a, every, they're all good, by the way. They're all good. Ooh, that one's good. I like that one. There's still a bunch. Yeah. I'm looking. So write down that one, because that's a good one. Yeah, and then we can get back to it. Are you writing it for me? Of course I am. So we're kind of jotting down like the top three right now, and then uh, me and the missus will uh, pick the best one. Hey, Norbert, do you have daily pressures that you need to uh, kind of run away from? And coins is the best outlet. That's right, Lynn. Coin collecting is an equal opportunity hobby. It brings family together, even if you don't care much for them. <laughs> Someone said watching Blue Ridge Silverhound. Ooh, Yay! Team Optimo, shooting right for the heart. <laughs> That was cool. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that you one like too. You like that one? Yeah. Okay. Lynn, Lynn RN has become a coin nerd. Is that true, Lynn? Do you, do you ever go to work and talk with your fellow RNs and uh, other assistants and say, oh yeah, I'm a coin nerd. And the doctors, <laughs> surgeons. Treasure hunt at home. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. Ooh, that's a good one too, yeah. Uh, yeah, that one there. That one's pretty good. Okay. We're not. Which one? Uh, this one here is pretty good too. I have a whole bunch of them, geez. Yeah, you Cheese Louise. Believe me, if we could give to all of you, we would because 
Yeah, yeah. I, you guys have some. I, I didn't bring enough inventory for the giveaway. Oh man. We have 277 watches, so. <laughs> well, I'm happy to give away some, you know? It's like, I guess it's better than one or none, you know? Someone said, uh, Lynn, RN, you have some good answers over there, girlfriend. Happy yeah. wife, happy life. It's true. So even yeah, that one, Nicholas, I mean, that, that something as simple as that is just like. I actually really like that one. Yeah, it's very. Yeah, I like that one probably the most. What do you think? I think you can announce it. I think it's yeah. a good one. All right, guys. So we have a winner. Um, it's a rather general statement. One in which I think um, is kind of appropriate with today's collecting standards, where a lot of people are searching change and coin rolls and all that. So Nicholas Carpino said, someone's spare change is another one's treasure so that is the winner nicholas carpino congratulations sir well said it's simple simplistic and i love it i love it that that, that one is fantastic you never know when you're going to hit the next big one you know next big variety or key date um you know someone else would toss it aside or spend it spend it at the starbucks or safeway and it ends up in your hand and it come to find out that you have a rare coin all right, so Nicholas Carpino, thank you, sir. If you could do me a favor, shoot me your information at my email, blueridgesilverhound at gmail.com. Very cool. So that's for the 1986 Silver Eagle. Nicholas Carpino won that one. Thank you. There's like a million comments, I, I swear. Uh, you guys are phenomenal. And it feels great to give away all these items. Very, very outstanding. All right, so I'm going to take the advice of someone and do the good old pick a number thing here. And uh, we have... I will write down a number. My you. wife will write down a number. Okay, so there's 275 of you. And what I want is... Are you going to write it down? Yeah. <laughs> One to what? Uh, one, two, 500. One answer per. All right, let's get started. My wife's writing down the number. I don't know what it okay. is. Yep, he doesn't know. And so while you guys are... Right uh, here, guys. It's in here. All right, let's put that down. <laughs> put down the evidence. So we have the uh, Ben Franklin silver commemorative coin that we're giving away on this particular one. By the way, the, two, the commemoratives I have all have the little uh, certificate of authenticity but in case you guys need a refresher let's see if i can get this thing out of here the benjamin franklin has the case by the way it's a proof 2006 benjamin franklin Ooh, you can see your reflection in there really pretty coin right there very neat one two five hundred So this one will give what five minutes? Yeah. If that's so that way it gets everyone who who has a lag. And what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll go back. Whoever hits that number, and then make sure that that person is the unique, you know, the first person to put that number on there, uh, because I'm sure there's gonna. I already see someone put triple three, a few times on there, and one two three. So I want to make sure the first person that posted that number gets it. One to 500, guys. One to 500. One to 500 for the um, 2006 Ben Franklin commemorative silver dollar with a book value of $35. The numbers are moving so quickly. Yes, that's good. Where'd you put the number? Oh, it's over there, huh? Mm -hmm. So let's see. It is... Uh, let's see. It's 245, so we will announce the winner at 247. 247. And if there's a, if there's any, it's um, whoever is the closest without going over. All right. So. Unless somebody hits it. Unless someone hits it on the button. 
As many guesses as you want, Melissa. Yeah, as many guesses, Melissa. Five eights? Come on, man, whole numbers. We're gonna see like 3.14 and all sorts of decimals and fractions and two to the 10th power. <laughs> that doesn't help me. You're gonna make me do math. We don't want that. So, Slurp. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I keep slurping or doing some sort of man thing that she's not appreciative of. Have you seen the number yet? No. Nope. No one's guessed the number. Not yet. If it's any consolation, a, a number of you are close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back up to the top to just. Mud SWAT, multiple guesses. Mud SWAT, they do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Can't get that song out of my head. The Baby Shark. Oh, Have you guys heard that? Apparently it's a YouTube sensation. All right, just to recap, you guys are playing for the 2006 Ben Franklin commemorative silver coin. And that's all she wrote. All right, do we have a winner? I haven't seen... Should we give it one more minute? What time did you say? 2.47. What time is it? Boop, boop, boop. Boop, beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. It looks like a ticker tape. That's funny. I'm just imagining this long like tape thing just coming out of the laptop. <laughs> There's so many numbers like rolling through. Today is Statistics. Daddy Shark to do. <laughs> yeah. Daddy shark. Do -do -do -do. Don't, please don't sing. Uh, I, believe me, I'm <laughs> not in the mood. Except for that one moment. Oh, Mud Swat, we could track it. <laughs> yeah, because we, we could go all the way to the beginning of the live stream comment thread. It's going to take a while, but we could do it. That, that doesn't bother me any. I know, Robert. It's going, it's going by quick. It's like so quick. I still have not seen the number come by yet and I'm watching closely. <laughs> Did I, no. There's been a number of you that are pretty close and a number of you that have gone over. Who's close, Lynn? Um, What's the number again? <laughs> Here, can I look at where's that little sheet? Do you want to see it? Yeah. There you go. All right, so I'm going to head back up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and check out the numbers. Okay, and um, whoever's closest. We're still here, guys. We're still here. We're not falling asleep. There's just so many numbers. I've never seen so many numbers in my life. <laughs> this might take us a few minutes. Yeah, no doubt. Dang. No. Was there one closer? No. Uh, yeah, there was. And there was and. 
Do 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 shoo do 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 <laughs> Ten thousand. That's one two five hundred. You know what's funny? Nobody has picked the number right on the button yet. But I saw someone that was super, super duper close. That's the closest one. So far? Yeah. I just... Do you want to write that name? Yeah, but I want to verify. Where's my pen and paper? Where? Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, there you go. Right there. So okay. that's the closest one. Anything no, that's it. Closer. So there was the same one, but he was first. Yeah. Yeah, I see someone else put that one too. All right, there's a lot of you. It's funny. It, there's there's probably like three, four hundred guesses. And um if not more. It's not more, yeah. So so let's go ahead and share the number. I, I think I think we're done. Yep. Yeah, we're done. So this is the number my wife wrote down, 482. And the one closest by two is Silver Dragons. Silver Dragons, you're the winner. Congratulations. Silver Dragon, if you're on, man. Um, Go ahead and shoot me your information via email to Blue Ridge Silverhound at gmail.com. All right. Silver Dragons, if you're on, congratulations, sir. Two away. Nobody got it right on the button. I saw someone type in 482 right at the end, out, you know, right when we announced it, but it, it had already closed. All right, so we have one more giveaway. We're, we're all the way, I guess it's fitting that it ended at an hour. It's long. I, I wanna give you guys your day back, so that way- um, You can go hang out with your family. Go hang out with your family. So, everybody has a chance to win. Man, this is exciting. I love this coin. <laughs> I love this coin. And um, there, 1879S NGC graded Mint State 63 star. And I'm gonna tell you why it got the star. There's the reverse. This is the final giveaway on the video for you guys. And I'm going to tell you how you could jump on to win this one. This is the ultimate giveaway for the Father's Day subscriber giveaway. Thank you for all of your support. That's a beauty. You guys notice how proof-like it looks? Here, let's do this. Here's a sheet of paper with writing. I don't know if you can see that. Do you see some of the writing? The reflection off of the coin? PL obverse, but not the reverse. But because it's PL, whoops. <laughs> hey, babe. But because it's PL, they gave it a star. How cool is that? This coin is worth about $85. All right, and with this coin right here, all right, you're gonna wait until I upload the video as a live video onto my channel. So give me about maybe 10 minutes, all right? And in the comments section, so this way people who couldn't join us today have the opportunity to win this as well. This is gonna be a five day comment kind of like uh, capture. So everybody that puts a comment in has a chance to win this. And then at that five days, I will do a live stream for the comment con comment, common content, com I can't even talk. 
I've been talking all, all day and this stinks. Common comment randomizer on Friday. And you don't have to be available for the live stream to know if you're a winner. Uh, babe, we'll be in Tahoe on Friday. Oh, well, I could do it there too. Okay. Yeah. It's cool. Whatever. <laughs> so when the video is uploaded, you guys are going to jump on to the video upload. You're going to go into the comments and simply, what is your favorite coin to collect? Go ahead and type that down in there. Um, and then we're going to use the randomizer on Friday or maybe, yeah, Friday. Um, or maybe I should push it out till Sunday night, Sunday night. When we get back. Yeah. Let's do it Sunday night. Uh, we're going to do it at 5 PM Eastern. Hey, Brayden. We're pretty close to Roseville. 5 PM Eastern, two o'clock Pacific. I will be doing the, uh, the live stream for the giveaway for this coin. And I will probably do another giveaway for that next week. On a different coin like I said I'm hooking you guys up so tell me what your favorite coin is and why I want to hear some good stuff tell me what your favorite coin is and why we'll do the randomizer on next Sunday which is what the 23rd 5 p.m. Eastern 2 o'clock Pacific so. for the night for the 1879 s Morgan dollar Mint State 63 Star NGC. MK Ultra wants to know which video she's going to comment on. Okay, it's going to be this video. The live stream video is going to be uploaded directly after we're done today. I'm going to upload this. It's going to be my most recent upload before I do the Monday market report either to tonight or tomorrow morning. So as soon as we're done, give me 15 minutes to upload this video. And then go ahead and place your comment in the video. So click on the video as if you're going to watch a new video. You don't have to watch the whole thing. Go all the way down to the comments. Type in what your favorite quarter, uh, coin to collect is. Um, yes, Brayden, we do. We live pretty close to Roseville, Rockland. So yes. Someone said hello to, from Roseville. Yeah, we, we live really close. Funny story for you guys real quick. Um, we were in a store in Roseville last week. Yeah, we went to a Smart and Final to, to do some grad party pickups. And we were approached by someone who recognized this wonderful face right here. Uh, wonderful, um, that's kind of a And stretch. it was kind of surreal to uh, see my husband. Um, Dennis, random pick. That's right. So everybody gets a fair shot. So anyways, I cut my wife off. I'll let her continue. So it was kind of crazy to have someone approach us and say, hey, we watch your videos. So it was, it was kind of yeah. a little surreal. Yeah, I, I had a groupie. A guy came up and said that uh, his, his mom watched me his and all that. Friend, I or a friend. Friend. Mm -hmm. A female friend who is a girl. I, <laughs> anyways, yeah, it, it wasn't all weird. I didn't have to sign his boobs or anything like that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Wait, did you hey, offer? Groupie. No, I did not offer. It was too much hair. Yeah. Oh <laughs> my Sharpie goodness. didn't work. Hey guys, also, um, we're working on hiring someone to do his... Um, yeah, all my social media and email. Because it's, the, it's just way, way too much for him to manage. So I know some of you have sent out emails to him and we apologize that we haven't been able to get back to you. Um, but... Oh, someone wants me to say hi? I'll lean in. Uh, yeah. Hi, guys. Hi. No makeup today, just kind of hanging out. Free bird Sundays. Yeah, I'm not wearing makeup either if it means anything. All right, so just to recap, when I'm done uploading the video, go ahead and hop on, click the video, go ahead and type in your comment, what coin do you like to collect and why? And I will do the giveaway randomizer. It will be random next Sunday, uh, June 23rd. 5 p.m. <laughs> Brayden Eastern. said hire someone, you say? <laughs> yes. It doesn't pay much, Brayden. <laughs> it doesn't... <laughs> you're still, you're still going to be on welfare. No, I don't know. <laughs> it's a really relatively easy job. It's a little mundane. You're probably sitting at a desk for two hours a day. Stuff like that. Oh, man. Well, guys, I appreciate your guys' time. Um, 
if you need to, you can always go back a few minutes to kind of get the idea of how to enter in for this wonderfully beautiful Morgan dollar. Um, again, you're gonna wait till the video uploads. You're gonna go into the video and then type in intern. What yeah, right? What coin do you like and why do you collect? Or yeah, what's your favorite coin and, and why? So uh, yeah. Dan, Dan says he'll work for coins. I, I bet you will. I'll work for coins too. <laughs> hey, Mr. Grab, you're a mechanic? <laughs> Mr. Grab likes to, uh, you know, unbolt stuff with his fingers, especially when it's all greasy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I want to thank everyone for, uh, for joining in. Young uh, coiner, a coin hunter, we will actually be going back and verifying as well. So if there's any discrepancies, we will put it out there. Um, yeah, we will go back into the chat stream and just go over everything uh, because there's like a million comments on there for that one guess number. Absolutely, we want to make sure that this yeah. is as fair as possible for all of you guys. Yeah. You know, it's fun. It's fun giveaways. We don't want to hurt feelings. And um, if yeah. someone was closer, and if something happens, I'll let you guys know. And what I'll do is if I if I drop the ball on actually finding the actual number of the 482. I'll reach out to those people individually and I'll send them something. I mean, you know, I'm like, I'm giving away all summer. I don't care. It's a lot of fun. I want to thank everyone for joining, for being loyal subscribers. Have you subscribed yet? You got Bra to. Brayden, send, send us an email, Brayden. We will definitely consider. We tried to get our teenage daughter to help out, but uh, she's uh, got other things that she's into so. she's getting on with her life is what she's saying she's 18 <laughs> graduated high school she's ready to move on to adultsville population the whole millennia i don't know <laughs> there's so many of you anyways thank you guys i'm gonna sign off so that way i could uh happy take care father's of some day guys yeah happy father's day to all the dads happy mommy's day to all the moms to all the single single moms out there keep all it, the single keep ladies playing, keep on keeping in all the single hubbies or <laughs> Never you're, mind. You're a dork. Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> my brain's not all there, you know. It's thanks, guys. All right, thank you all. Have a wonderful evening. Enjoy your Father's Day. Go out there and 